Hi, welcome to Lakeshore Toyota. Hi, welcome to the LPM Collision Center. Hi everyone, my name is Rolando and welcome to the Used Car Center. We're gonna go out here and make a right. Okay. The service is unbeatable, the people are unbelievable. I love him. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kohei. He's gonna take <laughs> care of me. I'm Brad Allen. This is Lancaster Toyota and Lancaster Mazda, family-owned car dealership in Lancaster, Pennsylvania for the past 46 years. My grandfather started this business in 1973. I applied for the job as a blind ad, and when I got this letter, it said Lancaster Toyota, and I had no clue what a Toyota was. <laughs> I can remember when my dad was setting up the store, his goal was to sell 40 new cars and 10 used cars a month. And now we sell often over 200 cars, new cars a month and over 100 used cars a month, plus we have Mazda. Hello, and welcome to my candy store. Used cars is a really interesting challenge because the people who can afford the least amount wind up buying cars with higher miles and the opportunity for more to go wrong. And I'm not gonna put a car in the street if I know there's a problem because I'm gonna take care of the problem if it goes bad. The general manager, Rick Price, he hands out a pamphlet or a, a little brochure with a cell number on it. And it's right on there. If you have a problem you can't solve, call me. My phone doesn't ring off the hook. I never thought that my kids would be in the business. My son went to college and got a degree in theology and wanted to be a minister. I washed cars here during the summers, but I did not think I was gonna be in the car business until about six months before I graduated college and it began to hit me that this is really, really a great opportunity that I have that a lot of people would love to have. Anyone need a ride? I am not a person who's interested in cars, selling cars, fixing cars, any of that, but I'm a person who's passionate about the people who work here. Happy employees make for a successful business. That is pretty simple. I've been here now for the last two years and I'm enjoying every minute of it. This shop here, we have uh, climate controlled and we have uh, waste oil heaters. So we'll actually burn the waste oil that normally you would dispose of. We reburn that in the waste oil heaters to heat the shop. It's air conditioned, it, it's very spacious, so it's, it's thumbs up for me. Times have changed uh, from those even 10, 15 years ago where the ethic was work all the time and, and put it in. My mother did not like how much the car business took my dad away from us as kids. I knew when I was a kid and my dad came home at nine o'clock, that was, if he would have come home at eight o'clock, that was the difference between him putting me to bed and not putting me to bed. I know we have so many people here that are parents that if we can give just a little bit better hours, you have a dad that's around and that you see when you're a little kid. Some of my son's indoor football games, they're only an hour long and they're, they're a block away. So a lot of times I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna, run to lunch and just take a little longer to watch his game and come back and it's never been an issue. It's awesome. I love working here. All the guys around here that have been here for a long time are super helpful like this year. <laughs> if Kira and I don't get into the business, then there's a good chance we send we sell this dealership to, you know, a big corporate, you know, a family of dealerships and the people that have worked here and have built this place uh, and have made it a really special place could lose their job. In regard to charitable giving, that has always been a priority. Being the ambassador for the PA Wounded Warriors, I called Rick a couple of times, Mr. Price, and without even a question, he said, just come in, I'll give you a check. I think any business that relies on a community for its success has an obligation to give back to that community. The best advice I could give anybody is, if you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. You tell an employee this is your pay plan, this is how you're gonna get paid, and the employee starts working their pay plan and making a lot of money, be happy. Because you were happy with whatever pay plan you gave them, you were happy with your percentage then, be happy with it now. They hire the right people, they take care of their customers, they know their product, and when you come out of there, you can be confident you've been treated the right way. It's much nicer to come to work when your customers are happy, your employees are happy. To do it any other way is just kind of counterproductive. We should all be ethical to everybody every day. We would have an awful lot less problems.